Hello, and welcome to Staying Up with Cammie and Taryn. I'm Cammie. And I'm Taryn. And every night, we have sleepover. But every week, we invite you to join us. Welcome. So thanks for staying up. Oh my god, my whole bra is hanging out. Um, I purposefully didn't tell you. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I didn't see it. <laughs> Look how cozy we are. We're, We're very back cozy. on the couch. We're back on the couch because there's a storm. There's I don't know a hurricane. If you, <laughs> I don't know if you've heard of, about it, but you should be praying for us. <laughs> I don't get it. I don't think it's anything. It's like rain. It's just raining. You looked at me like. Like what? Like we were, you were prompting me up for like a joke. And no, I, I just. know if I missed out. I know I just said stuff and then I just, it just fell out. Oh, okay. Got it. Um, Yeah. It's seeming to be fine. I think it's going to be okay. It's seeming to be fine. They said it was going to be this whole sort of doomsday situation really where it was like first time in California history that there's oh, it a. Is. It's weird. Yeah. I think it's hard with storms like this because. Obviously, the news likes to. Oh, let me pause you to say that Kimmy's new thing during all this is she's become like extremely versed in the weather, and she sounds like a reporter at all times. Like she's like, I just like to know what's going on. You like to know it. I just like what you like to know it. I like to know it. Yeah, I like to know it. (laughs) Um, I will link my like to know it for any outfit (laughs) details down below. Um, Mm -hmm. yeah, I don't know. I just like to have info, and being married to you, yeah. I know that you get anxious when about work. stuff and I don't always think like you looking up info helps you. Yeah. I feel like almost like sometimes you'll look for info to confirm your fear instead of like the truth. Yeah. Like if I, <laughs> I think a better way to say it is like I could have been a Facebook mom if I was that age. Totally. Where like, I really think I would have been like, Oh my God. Yeah. Oh my you'll God. You'll see a headline and be like, <laughs> This is it. It's the end. Um, yeah. So I like to be prepared and know all the info because I don't want to. I know that if I just say to you, like, it's fine. This is this. You're going to be like, you don't know that. Yeah. And if I'm like, all right, if you're worried, let's do this. Let's get everything ready. You're going to be like, you're scared. Why are you yeah. scared? So which you did kind I know. of do. When she starts moving mad, I do start to feel scared. Yeah. She's like, oh, you're scared now. And I'm like, no, I just want to be prepared. I grew up in Pittsburgh. We had actual (laughs) storms. So this isn't like new to me. And there was a million times I experienced this. And probably like seven or eight times out of ten, it's not as bad as we're thinking. Yeah. But it never hurts to be prepared. Don't don't panic. Be prepared. Just like. I get that. Have your stuff together. It's just that my experience. Well, for the peepees listening. It is Sunday at 1.42 p.m. That's important information because it has been raining. Are you coming at me with something? No. Oh, just sitting your lean up. I thought it was like you're coming. I was just grabbing my wine. <laughs> <laughs> um, she's coming for some sustenance. Um, side note, every time I say the word coming lately, you I like can't hear. not hear it as like, like dirty. Like I feel like a little kid like coming. Ooh-hoo. Yeah. Like that. Interesting. What? prompted that like what what was the first coming (laughs) bless you bless you you cannot say bless you before someone sneezes i sorry you can't do that i'm sorry because it scares the sneeze back in you think you sneezes are scared of bless you (laughs) yeah they're like that's why it stops no it doesn't stop you jinx it okay it's more of that um i don't know when the first time happened (laughs) i did mc my all hands at work which basically all hands is like your all company weekly meeting and you all get together and oh my god did you say coming and start laughing i said the first thing i said was like no i said something like (laughs) da 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 like oh i always wanted to (laughs) that's what i said (laughs) so my company has like this little theme song that they play at the beginning of every all hands yeah and then there's like this big boom and that's when the person talks yeah it's like, it's like the intro. Boom. And then you like, and you're like talk. Whoa, whoa. Yes. And I said, oh, I've always wanted to come after that. And I, <laughs> and I don't have any friends close enough at work that like I could have been like, Tee-hee. yeah. So I just kind of, could you see people's faces during it? Or like, did anyone do a little? Tell? No, that's, that's the sort of thing that you hear and you try your fucking hardest to not react to. But because sometimes everyone's... you get caught off guard. I don't know if I get a giggle fit. I'm fucking done for. Yeah, but you've not been on many calls with 
300 people that like that would get but that's the kind of thing where i'd be like whoop i'd turn my camera off so quick yeah no no people are yeah. like don't react don't react don't react don't react don't react and but then the more they text i say that to myself the more i'm going like i don't know i can't i like trick myself and then i have to do it any hoodlum <laughs> so we know that the storm is coming c-u-m-i-n-g <laughs> actually two m's yeah um but they said that it's going to hit around five and it's 145 here. It's been raining. It's going to be the eye in a couple hours. Apparently we will be the eye. I and think so calm down quite a bit. A thought that I've been having is the fine line, the, the, the line between being prepared mm-hmm. and being overly anxious mm-hmm. is so thin for me mm. in everything that I am yeah. doing. <laughs> But actually okay. not. Like I think about packing. I think about like planning th- normal plans, like a, sa- a normal Saturday. Like I'm never like over prepared. Had everything I could possibly need. Well, you don't really prepare. Like that's a that's a thing. When you are yeah. preparing, that's when you're getting anxious. Those are things that you don't really prepare for. Like, you're you're not really. Pre- I've been thinking about right. packing for weeks. I guess it's just <laughs> yeah. You're right. I'm I thinking guess about pa- it's just you're like, packing for weeks. When some when it's time to prepare, and I know it. I'm like, uh oh, yeah. Now it's bad. Yeah, something bad's coming. <laughs> Someone bad is coming <laughs> on you. Ah, to but you, honey. With you, grow by you. Stop it. In you, uh, for you. Terrible. <laughs> <laughs> Somehow just got worse and worse. Yeah. So anyway, you guys, I was a little spooky duked, mm-hmm. um, but now I'm feeling fine. I'm feeling like now I'm on the opposite side of the train where I'm feeling. Yeah. Like the news really blew it out of proportion. It's not going to be anything for us in LA. Yeah. I think generally. <laughs> Watch yes, our house get like fucking. <laughs> like a during zapped. this fucking podcast. <laughs> yeah. I think yes, the news sensationalizes, especially with weather. However, with these kind of storms, you don't really know. They're trying to yeah. share, but they change quickly. Yeah. It like a lot, a lot can happen in a short amount of time that it's. And because this hasn't really happened here yeah people weren't really sure it was gonna happen like we never really know what's gonna happen when we get a lot of rain in la in general Mm -hmm. so to hear we're getting that much spooky that quickly is just a bit odd but i think it dissipated quickly enough what my mom taught me yesterday is that hurricanes need hot water Mm -hmm. like the warmer weather hotter water i heard you learn i heard you learn on that call when she said that and you're like like, oh wow i was like i didn't know that mom oh um, I'll take that back to the station. The yeah, weather station. Like, I'll report that to the PBs. <laughs> um, so yeah, I think it's been dissipating. So we're good. I'm more so worried about Mexico because they are now potentially getting get hit on the other side as well. That's bad. Yeah. Mm. So we'll see what happens. I, I Yeah. So I'm hoping. I haven't really looked up what the destruction's been from this hurricane while it's gone up the coast mm-hmm. of Mexico. I haven't heard anything too bad. So I'm hoping they didn't get hit too badly. And mm. I'm hoping the other side doesn't as well. But... Hmm. I mean, we'll keep you posted because we are a weather channel now. Yeah, Anyways, what tune else in. have you been thinking about other than doomsday prep? Well, I just spent like about t- five, ten seconds in my head thinking about how funny it is that I saw you go somewhere. I went somewhere. We need a compilation of all these videos. You guys have only called Taryn out on it like one time. I do zone. And it happens so often. You'd be shocked if you were at a dinner table with me and my dad. We both zone. <laughs> that do. gets wild. Yeah. My poor mom and brothers growing up being like look to your left and right because we both sit at the opposite heads of yeah, the table like, we're probably just like, <laughs> um, it's more awkward on one-on-one dinners <laughs> to be fair <laughs> me and my dad just like ours no i mean when i'm at dinner with you to be fair i'm zoning no i hear that no, you're just ignoring everything i'm saying i hear that <laughs> i'm just saying i don't zone and not hear things but it doesn't matter. You can hear things if you're not responding and acknowledging. The, it doesn't matter like what your experience is in that moment. Totally. Hearing it. Like the other person doesn't know. They're just out there like. If I could stop it, I would. I hate how I look. <laughs> so I don't understand like more than anything. I don't want to stop it. So I'm not coming off rude or not responding. I hate the way I look. <laughs> I mean, yeah, because I don't think that's true. Like I don't miss the conversation. It's just it for a moment. I'm like this and I'm like in my head tracking, but I am fully zoned. Mm-hmm. 
Just malfunction. I, I malfunction. <laughs> because I don't miss anything. I'm so still what like were you, I know. I think you're still missing my point in it, but. Your point is that's that okay. it looks like I'm missing things and that I no. at, when I come back, I don't acknowledge things. Um, more that so the latter. Said. It's not that you look like you're missing things. It's just the conversation stops. You might have heard something, but you aren't responding to it. So then like whatever I have said, that's it. It doesn't matter. It's like that's done. Mm-hmm. And then it'll go into whatever you zoned out thinking about. So it's like, yeah, you experienced what I was saying. Right. right. So, but I think you are focusing on your experience in it and not how it affects others. I do understand that. Yeah. Anyways, what were you thinking about this zone out? It doesn't matter. Let's, <clears throat> not sound, let's talk about anything else. Shut up. <laughs> what were you thinking about? I'm feeling sensitive now. We're both like starting our periods. So now I'm feeling sensitive. <laughs> I'm not ignoring you. You said. There you go, ignoring everything. I wasn't. I wasn't doing that. But I think that's it's just sometimes that's my, my brain gets a little silly. Like, it's okay. I know that you're perceiving it and you're hearing it. So in your mind, that's not ignoring because it did register. But you can register something, but register something. But if you're not acknowledging it, that is a form of ignoring it. Like you're not responding to what was said. No, I get and that. And the conversation is done. So that is ignoring. Like, I hear things and I can, I choose to ignore them sometimes. That's me ignoring. It's not, just not hearing at all isn't the only way of ignoring someone. I know. But that's what I mean. I think it's like not acknowledging that that is affecting the other person. That it's making, it's making me feel like what I'm saying is unimportant. unimportant. And, yes. d- and isn't, or less important than where you're going. And then it makes me not want to like share those thoughts. You know what I mean? Yes, yeah. I do know what you mean. Thanks, and I'm sorry that I make you feel that way. <laughs> Thank you, honey. Anyway, should I'd we? I'd love to hear your zone out thought. Um, you forget it. No, I have it. I'm just feeling a little like small right now. That's okay. Yeah. Would you like to sit with it for a minute? I think so. Yeah, <laughs> you can sit with it for a minute. Yeah. I'm working on with when I share something that hurts my feelings my feelings being hurt hurts you and I think for a long time that I would feel like I need to comfort you and then I'd be irritated by the fact that I had to comfort you and all this and I realized that I don't have to Mm -hmm. I can let you work out your feelings that you're having to me feeling down about something and that you I can allow you to self-soothe that it's not my responsibility to fix that and then that way I won't then get irritated that I quote unquote had to because I don't have to like I can I think I got to a point where I was holding back sharing a thought with you if it made me sad because I knew if I'm gonna share this thought with her she's gonna feel sad that she didn't make me feel sad but I did feel sad but then I'm gonna either feel bad for sharing that thought or I'm then gonna feel the need to comfort her for making her sad because I shared that thought and Mm -hmm. then it would make me feel resentful and like I I was like I'd get upset that I felt like I had to do that. So I'm working on just letting you feel that. It's okay that you felt sad about that, but it's also okay that I shared it. You know what I mean? Yeah. I just didn't think that the way that you shared it was nice. Oh, tell like me about you that. Were like you like laughed and were like, <laughs> not you ignoring me and then drinking. Mm. And that felt like not a nice way to share that. Oh, like that. that like you felt sad yeah. or hurt by me. Like, I think I would have taken that better if you were like, hey, like sometimes when you zone out and then don't acknowledge what I said or whatever after, Mm -hmm. I feel a little bit ignored. I get that you zone out, but is there a way that you could like close up the conversation before you go on to what you're thinking instead of like, Mm -hmm. like a, a, a like, what is the word I'm looking for? not even passive aggressive just like yeah. lightly aggressive like laugh and like drink your drink and whatever oh just I, felt he- I hear funky. that yeah. I think I try to keep it light to be like this isn't a big deal I'm not like scolding you I'm not mad at you but like, I know that it, it is light. a big deal to you it's not it's just like it's something that makes me feel sad so it's like I think laughing about it is my way of keeping it like to not get you on the defense of like having to get into that state of like feeling like, Oh, well that's not what I meant to do. So I think if I'm, I'm trying to, I, 
sipping the wine had nothing to do with it so I'm not addressing that was just unrelated I just wanted to sip my wine so I sat up but laughing I think I do do that whenever it's something that like hurts my feelings and I want to say it but I'm afraid to say it in a serious way and then it becomes this like bigger thing I try to keep it light and address it but I, I totally hear that that then comes off as passive aggressive and it's like, not like a fun silly laugh I hear that it, it is it's like an I'm mad laugh Okay. It's a different version of your laugh, which you're like, I, I know that. This yeah, is, I'm not it's like your sarcasm voice. Yeah. It's like, I'm, I get, if you were to just be like, oh babe, like, haha, whatever you're, you ignored me or whatever. Like, I don't even know how you would normal laugh and say that, but it's like, not you just ignoring me like that. Yeah. Okay. And I'm like, oh, she's mad, but trying to move on, but I don't want to move on. Cause now I know that she's mad. Yeah. It's that. Okay. I hear that. Anyway, the thing I zoned out about was I was just saying, thinking that like weather is such an equalizer, like everyone, mm-hmm. it's like we all say, oh, are we just talking about the weather? And you really do just talk about the weather with everybody you meet. Because you can. And then it's like on the wet, on the news and stuff, we all are so into storm shit and whatever. <laughs> and it's like the only thing that isn't inherently political because it's just like, Mm-hmm. The world is doing its thing. It's like oh, it wasn't until recent. Well, yes, but it's not inherently political. Yeah. Like it, it was a neutral topic with literally it was neutral adult because kid Republican Democrat. Like it's warm today, and then ca- people can't be like only Republicans think it's warm. It's like <laughs> that's not like what it is. It's like yeah, it is what it is. It is what it is, and people would just talk about it, and yeah. it's and just it's still funny. Like country's fault. Yeah, it's like the only thing I can think of that is that. Yeah. Yeah, that's a really good point. And when there's nothing to talk about, I think that's why people talk about it. It's a completely safe Safe, topic. Yeah, yeah, it's such a safe zone. And even if you aren't an expert, like if you haven't been studying this hurricane, you know it's coming. You you know what rain is. You can you can contribute something. You can have as little or as much information on the topic as you can yeah and you can still hold a conversation about it yeah you can still compare it to another day like we've all experienced weather that's an interesting thought yeah that's going on in my head i like that can i have a kiss baby yeah dude okay thanks love you (laughs) to those that are just listening we just shared two sexy kisses (laughs) (laughs) i'm just kidding they're they're pretty pg (laughs) They're chilling. Let's, let's turn it up in this place. Sure, sure. sure. Um, what else have we been thinking about, cutie pie? Well, I woke up very excited because I thought I woke up and it was time to watch the World Cup Finals. But the World Cup Finals was when I was sleeping. Oh. So I missed it. <laughs> so we'd like to say a big congrats to any Spanish peepees that really cared about this World Cup because yeah, you did congrats, win. congrats, Spain. Sorry to the country of England who yeah. got second place. Second's first place losers that's really true they're also (laughs) just losers sorry it's like everyone's a loser unless you're a winner and there's only one winner and it's Spain. it is funny that third place feels like more of a winner because of the fact that they play the they play another game and then if you win then your last game is you that you won Wait, what? <laughs> like the thir- the first sec the first and second place teams play mm-hmm. each other, mm-hmm. and then that determines the winner and the runner up. The third and fourth place teams also play each other, and that oh, determines who makes third and fourth place. That's how it worked. Yes, I'm ninety percent sure. Now that I'm saying it out loud, I'm like, that's, th- but that- that's what normally what happens. Oh yeah, because it's not a bracket. Yeah, well, it is a bracket, and then towards the end, or no, it's. I don't know, but that is what happened. That's how soccer works. I'm pretty sure <laughs> that Australia I, I got third place. I love your face place. right now being like, I just see your little eyes darting. You're like, is that right? It's right. I'm pretty sure. It. I'm it's like, right. I would bet money on it. Yeah. Um, Which I bet money on a lot of things. So that's <laughs> yeah, stupid. I'm like, that means literally nothing to me though. Yeah, so, but so. anyway, I'm saying if that is what happened, I get then it. the third place team did end with a victory end with a victory <laughs> so they feel like the real second place wait that's crazy yeah mm. 
I remember you saying that you know a little something about what happened with the Spanish team that I don't. Yeah, I was watching TikToks this morning. Um, probably found out that the World Cup final already happened around the same time you did. And I was watching our girl, ja- girl Jackie that we were talking about. Jackie, my bitch! On last week's podcast. Or the week before? I don't know. Lost, Justo, sir. Lost track of time. Um, but Jackie's video on the World Cup popped up. And I didn't know this, but there's been big drama with the Spanish manager, coach. Is that the same thing? I think so. No. I think it is. The manager I think is giving more admin. I think it, they're called the manager. I think the coach is called the manager. Anywho. What a, whatever. What a. <laughs> whatever. What a. Um, where is it? His name is Jorge Vilda. And I didn't care. What a fucking villain name. I know. Jorge Vilda. Jorge Vilda. Um. I try to do a little more of a deep dive on like what the details are of why the team hates him. Okay. And it seems a little blurry. I'm not totally sure. So do we have any hunches? If I butcher any of this, I'm sorry. I'm not the source. Go to Jackie's TikTok. I think there's way more information over there. I'm sure she'll have more. Um, But basically the whole team, there's like talks about how he's just a horrible coach okay he I, like that seems hate worthy wasn't taking a lot of initiative like wasn't showing the players videos of teams they were going to be playing like okay. just wasn't great there was a lot of bad management around injuries okay like making players play when they're yeah to the point where there was like making players play i mean it's in the name well when they're hurt i'm joking and then there's like 15 of the girls from the past team that were like refusing to play. I think only three ended up coming back because they just didn't want to play with him. Yeah. And like, I think there was allegations of verbal abuse. Like he's just allegedly a really not so great guy. And then there's all these videos. I'm just going to keep saying allegedly because I don't want to say anything that I'm wrong about. And I'm not going to get in trouble. Like, is Jorge going to come knock on the door and be like, he might. You bitch. Mr. Vilda here. <laughs> um, but there's been all these clips of the team celebrating and him celebrating and like the girls like swerving around him and like not even acknowledging him, not giving him any praise. Like shame. they no good. This loser. They got. No, I just mean shame at the animosity that this. Yeah. Is, I mean, like, like you want to celebrate and it's put in such a damper on the win because then people were saying like, well, we don't want Spain to win because we don't want him to get any credit for it. And it's like, no, these girls deserve to win, like in spite of him yeah. being bad. But I guess they went to the Federation or whatever runs. Them. I love that it's called the federation i don't know that it is i heard that today oh did you okay they I were like, like oh yeah the whole oh. federation and i was like is that the country well i think or they went the to government? like the like no 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 the fe- like the soccer federation oh i thought it was like spain is i don't federation. think so i think it was like God, they the went to the feder- that makes soccer so federation <laughs> they like went to the government <laughs> in spain and were like get or out <laughs> Me being like, that's so sad. You're like, wow. No, I guess they went and like brought all of these claims to them and they basically okay. were like, tough shit. We're going to keep him in. Shame. And that really sucks. So I don't know what's going to happen. And like, he hadn't won anything for them in years. Like, so well, it's a, I don't it's understand a, what was going on here. I don't know who's, he was bittersweet to, if you're watching video, you got to see that. If you're not, you sorry. don't know who he was to, who's. He was, oh my god! I didn't even see that. I know sneaky. she did the like wiener in the mouth. No, thing. it was a secret. <laughs> oh my god! We can't have secrets for anyone, any listeners that are blind. That's a great point. You're welcome. I mean, you want to say thank you? Thank you. You're welcome. Well, you know, we hate a bittersweet win situation, but such as life such as sports such as such as yeah. and good job to the ladies good job to the ladies and yeah. good job to everyone who cared thank you for watching the world cup because four years the more Soccer. that we watch women's sports yeah the more that women's be earning the more that women's yes. be showing sports in places yeah like this was such a win nothing yeah. makes me want to suddenly be an american more like when like the u.s women's team plays anything it is so funny the like camaraderie camaraderie we ha- camaraderie we camaraderie we she said it's so much camaraderie, camaraderie that it has changed the word it's so cute that that's when we feel pride in our country the most like fourth of july we all have like a weird air about it we're like yeah. feel silly celebrating like 
I haven't worn like red, white, and blue on a Fourth of July in a long time. But go to a World Cup game. I and really I'd be like, think you decked. wore red, white, and blue on Fourth of July this year. I literally didn't. I had I had a white. I wear white all the time. I had white. I think pants you on wore a red shirt. Pant. No, I wore that tan scarf because I was joking about how I uh, looked like the least patriotic going to the what party. What did I wear? Hmm. I really thought but I had a phase where I collected like red, white, and blue stuff. Not for America. I was just like, I had like a moment where it I was, was like, this is the vibe. It was the colors. Yeah. It was very nautical. Yeah. Which was I had like Toms that were like, oh, it's so embarrassing. That's okay. I know. Toms were cool. Well, I had a lot of Toms, but I had Toms that were like American flags. Oh, okay. Yeah. That's I weird. had a backpack, a Mark Jacobs backpack. That was nothing has felt more on brand. I'm like that was American. Zero percent surprised by that statement. I had a big Mark Jacobs fan moment. You had so many watches. I wanted to name my child Mark with a C. Really? Yeah. What are you looking up? I wanted Photo? to look at no our Fourth of July outfits because I feel like I looked patriotic. You now wore, that I, I believe, white shorts, your mm-hmm. denim button down. Mm-hmm. And some form of a tank. I don't recall the color. I did. I wore white short, white shirt, white shirt, and a Rangers hat, which was red, white, and blue. You wore white and blue. Okay, this is the picture that I was confused about because you look very patriotic. Because I'm holding a red solo. Because she's cup. holding a red solo cup. <laughs> I'm going to hold that up very quickly so you can see. Any hoodlum. Um, that'll do it. The red solo cup does appear very patriotic. Would you like to share the PP of the week? Our sec, our very second PP of the week. Yeah. Wait. I also was thinking from that red solo cup how funny it was we we're finally catching up on love island uk and they did the talent show night and taryn and i were talking about what talent we would both do and we ended up landing we had like a lot of different iterations ideas, yeah but we landed on taryn would do beer pong and i would do flip cup and i think that is just like the dumbest talent that would have been so fun but it'd be so cute because we would be a couple and then we would do a joint talent and it would be, be like, like sinking the balls where I'm like, bing, bing, bing. we'd be like, play us, play us. And then we'll do our, both yeah. our things and no one could win. And we'd be like, fuck you guys. <laughs> Smog in it. Smoky. <laughs> Ricky's back um, in the door. Do we need to let her out or do we just not going to go? On? Ricky okay. doesn't like to go outside in the rain, but she has been preparing for this this year because we got a lot of rain and she has actually peed today, but I don't think she's going to go right now. All right. We'll let her out after. The PP. PP of the weeky. Nice. Was that the same thing you did last week? Yep. Nice. Uh, where's my PP? Vanessa Guarna. Whoop, 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 Girl, whoop, whoop. we see you. We notice you. We all the time. You, bitch. you are our PP of the week. We really love consistency. Like, it is just so fun to see people actually responding and interacting and like, I think it's scary sometimes to do it when I you're know. like you're listening to a podcast and you'll hear a host be like, oh, go answer the question here. And it's like you might be talking to your friends listening or yeah. t- thinking yourself what you would say. But a lot of times you don't go and share it because you're like, oh, nobody cares or whatever. 100%. We love it. And Vanessa, you're always on there responding. Um, she responded. We posted the question Taryn shared last week of when you're starting a project why would it fail a pre-mortem and her response was like exactly kind of what we said too so i really related it to it a lot yeah um but yeah we just love that thank you so much for contributing and like making this community not just me and taryn and the dogs <laughs> thank you vanessa you're an incredible pp <laughs> <laughs> why did that sound <laughs> crazy <laughs> hold on <laughs> hold on you were like Turned on your Paris Hilton voice and be like, <laughs> Thank you, Vanessa. I you're an incredible baby. Uh, <laughs> but like you weren't doing a voice. No. You didn't you were just like Paris Thank you, Vanessa. Out of me. I'm an incredible baby. <laughs> Love and light. <laughs> Honestly. Hell yeah. What is what does Paris say? That's hot. That's hot. <laughs> Hell yeah. <laughs> What? We're being such what? silly gals. Um, so yes, thank you. Oh. And if you want to be PP of the week, oh, that scared me. Be fucking cool. <laughs> just joking. Um, uh, just um, just be yourself, and we will celebrate <laughs> that in due time. Yeah. Reminder: We just pick somebody every week from either Instagram. 
TikTok, comments anywhere, reviews, the Geneva app, community group, chat, chat, all the places. All so, the places. That's hot. With us. It's hot. Um, for the remainder of our time, before we get into our listener gossip story. Yeah. Last week, we talked about doing a pre-project check-in. Mm-hmm. And I'm thinking, we're leaving on this big trip. Okay. And it's half our honeymoon, half best friend's wedding, whole vibes. Our first big overseas trip. We've done Mexico, but this is like our big, biggest yeah. trip we've done together since we've Getting been together. Getting together right before COVID really stunted the travel experience. 100%. So I just want to take a moment for the two of us. Okay. With no one else listening, except for <laughs> our peepees. Me and you. Just our gals. Um, to like pre set expectations. Oh, I love that. Do a little mm-hmm. check in. Just like let's level set about our yeah. trip. Think about what might go wrong. Okay. What like, I don't know, just try to like be, get ahead of anything. Yeah. Um, would you give a quick snippy of where we're going? Just so the peepees know where we're, we're going, going, what we're doing. To Amsterdam and Paris and Positano and Ravello and Naples. Correct. And we're going because two of my very best friends are getting married in Positano. And what's really fun is that all of our best friends are going. So, be so fun. we're all going to be in Italy together, which is fucking. That's going to be so. <laughs> so sick. Weird. It feels so adult. So, I feel so <laughs> adult. Yeah. I mean, and it then is. We're 32. And then other friends of ours that like you know aren't like best best friends but are friends that we know from the group and stuff have like i've gotten a few messages of like oh my god we have to do this when we're in positano or whatever and i'm like not us going to positano together that's kind of fun like the people it's like i don't really know you but i know you and i'm gonna be in a different country with you so sick vibing like we're gonna go like eat dinner together and like lexi's dad i'm gonna be like remember in positano when yada 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 and like i can like have memories with this man yeah it's Uh, (laughs) Here's what else? Hi, mama. Hi, mommy. Oh, um, you know, stuff like that. So anyway, there's that. Yeah. We're very excited. Mm-hmm. How are you on an overseas trip like this? What do I need to know? What do you need to know? Um, I don't know. I mean, first of all, I'm stoked that we will get through our periods prior. So we're Same. not like sensitive and irritable. Yeah. Because we both get so sensitive and so irritable before our periods. And then the fact that we are synced up is just like. Next level. It's next level. We're getting really good at it though, I will say. I think we've gotten a lot better at moving through it. Um, what do you need to know? I, what do you like as a traveler you know internationally? What? I think it's not about being international. It's just anywhere. Like, I mean, I guess especially in a lot of places we're going to, there's small spaces. Mm-hmm. And I, you know, I like to keep my space clean clean and organized clean. I, I don't get that. like there to be stuff everywhere and it's hard living out of the suitcase not having a lot of space to put our things it can be kind of tough 100 but it really warms my heart and makes me feel loved mm-hmm. when just like a couple extra minutes to pick up after ourselves is put in that makes me feel good cool okay i can do that i appreciate that what do you need um what do i need what can i ask of you on this trip I love to like push it a little bit on trips like mean? this. Like I when I'm traveling internationally, I really feel the feeling of like you got to do everything. Yes. Yeah. Not like not to a point of like it's not that I have to do everything, it's that I need to like live it up. Yeah. You're like we don't need to sleep. We don't need to I don't you, know. I mean, see, what it's, else it's like it's like I mean, you need to sleep, but like you're like let's just It's like be as present as possible is more what it is. Like, What does that mean to you? That means if we're like walking home and like we're pretty tired, but there's we see the cutest little spot. You mean like say yes more. Yes. 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 You're doing it. (laughs) Is it working? working. Yes, it's doing great. (laughs) I love that. And I'm glad that you're like that. And I feel that I am too. Yeah. When traveling. But... It's been a while and I think COVID and age and everything has like slowed me down a little bit. Yeah. So I like going in with that mindset. Yeah. To keep in mind like just go just do it. Yeah. Like my favorite travel memory of all time 
was in Amsterdam after the Anne Frank house. Me and my friend Lexi had our legs dangling over one of the canals. And this boat of people drove by, young people listening to music, having the time of their life, whatever. And they were like, hey, da da da. We're like, hi. And they made a joke like, you got to get on one of these boats. And I was like, I know, can we come on yours? And then they pulled over and we were like, do you know this story? <laughs> yeah. You oh, wow. You're really acting like you don't. Really? Like your face of surprise is and just like listening is amazing. I'm just listening. Good job. And good job, Ricky. You're doing great. Ricky, yeah. Look at Ricky. She's like, I never heard it, mom. Um. Anyway, they let us on their boat. They said that they were having a leftovers party where they just had that had a big so party cute. the night before and they had all this like random half open alcohol. And normally not my vibe. I can't, I know, even I can't believe you said yes to stand this. to that scares me so bad. Which probably, I probably just had like bottles that weren't opened yet and stuff like that because I cannot imagine I would have done anything different. But then (laughs) we spent the whole time for the whole rest of the day, like maybe seven hours cruising the canals with these local Amsterdam people. And they took us to one of their favorite restaurants. They took us to their little hat shop that they have, like all this stuff. And I would like to do more things like that. You want to be spontaneous. I want to be spontaneous. But even if we're feeling tired, it's like, let's be tired at this little local bar and play cards instead of let's go in the room and have 30 minutes extra of sleep. A hundred percent. Okay, great. I'm on, I'm on your page. Cool. Um, It is funny because I feel like some of that is surprising for you. Like, I feel like sometimes you're like anxieties of like, you could have been kidnapped. Yeah. You could have. I'm sure that was happening. What? In my head. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> I'm sure I was kidnapped. You're like, that is exactly what happened, but it was fun. No. Yeah. Um, also, that's not advice to anyone who's never traveled overseas or yeah, even yeah, has yeah. a million times. Don't hang out with strangers. It was just, I really felt it. But we will. It was fine. So if yeah. you see us, <laughs> yeah, let's hang out. Just don't buy me a drink. Don't, don't do that. If we're strangers and you we wanna... meet out. You can buy me a drink. No. Why? I don't. That, Don't like prepare me a drink and hand me like some mystery substance. That's what I'm saying. But ask if what we're I'm at drinking bar, and then the bartender can make and it. We and we watch it together. Be made and then be delivered to us. Okay. You, I will not allow anyone to bring you a drink. You can offer me anything. No, you cannot. <laughs> if you get drugged over there, I'm going to freak out. We will be airlifted home. Do you understand that? <laughs> okay. We are going to Amsterdam. I'm just going to put that out there. Yeah, but you can do it safely. I've done it safely. I'm kidding. <laughs> what do you think, Reggie? Never mind. We're going to stay in the hotel rooms. <laughs> oh, no, Sorry, that Snitch. Was no, that was my foot, foot bud. Come here, baby. Reggie, um, okay. Is there oh, anything whoa. Is there anything you want to ask of me of, of when we're with other people? Like, how can I be towards you? What do you oh, need actually, from me? Because yes, a lot of, half of this trip will be with others. And with your others. Yes. Like, um, even how you said earlier, you're like, and all of our best friends are there. And I was like, my best friends. Well, yeah, be I know. In, even in my head, I was like, not all of ours. Yeah. But. Yeah. Yeah. But, it, but that whole group, which is so yeah. fun and it's the coolest group. And I'm really excited. I have two things. Hit me. One is that sometimes I do need to recharge. Yeah, of I have a smaller social battery. Yes. And for the second half of our trip, we are with people kind of 24 seven. That I totally get. There will be times where I, in order to go the next eight hours of nonstop time, I might need to go take 30 minutes, put in headphones, zone out, sit down, get like a clear mind. Yeah. And instead of a like, are you sure? Like, no, let's just do this. Like being like, totally. How about like, give me a kiss and then be like, I'll come grab you in 30 and check on you. Okay. And like allowing me to have that moment of space. Okay. Um, What if... It's a world where everyone is there but you. If I'm saying to you, like, I need this moment. Okay. If I say it, I push myself a lot. I think that's what most people don't see, mm-hmm. including you, is that I've if I get to a point where I'm like, I'm going to go take mm-hmm. 15, 30 minutes alone, it's because I've already it, you're past had your this point. conversation where I'm like, you, you're going to make her sad. She, like, she really wants you there. That's um, right. Okay. But if there is something where I'm saying that and it is like happens to be the one thing where you're like, oh, I really don't want her to miss this thing, which I would never do it on anything important. But if it is like, oof, I'd really like this. I am so comfy with you going. I totally hear you. Like, Mm -hmm. let's make sure we get you that time. Just alternatively, I just want to share like 
this we're going to this restaurant blah 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 whatever it may be I'm not going to miss anything important but no you can say it to me and go like is there a way that we can take 10 minutes together right now or like we can go to this and then you do this like yeah. what is there an alternative and then yeah. if I say no kind of being like totally and letting it go I can totally understand that yeah okay I, that was number one and then my next one was that you're really good at being attentive with everyone in the room and making sure others are heard mm-hmm. and like that the camaraderie is good camaraderie and I, camaraderie is good and I feel like sometimes as your partner and you knowing like that I can hold my own, mm-hmm. that I won't feel like the priority uh-huh, sometimes uh-huh. where like I'll get cut off yes, or it'll be like I'll kind of feel ignored. So it would be, it would make me feel really good to like prioritize me a little bit more in those situations or like check in on me and like just giving me a little bit of attention in those group settings totally. and I know you're gonna be so excited and you're gonna be really busy and it's your friend's wedding so of course like that's not gonna be the whole time mm-hmm. but like in big group hangs sometimes I feel like a little bit I get that lost in, in, in the, the background back. yeah, okay. yeah okay I could I could do that thanks baby I could do that cool any other things you want to share with me um anything I can do on Unless you have another specific thing to share. Hmm. Anything that I can do on the like friend part of the trip that's going to make you feel good and feel balanced. Because like you're going to have a lot to juggle. There's a lot of like your friends are there. You're wanting to be attentive to Anthony for his wedding. Is there anything like I can do to help make that process for you smoother? It's funny because I kind of get FOMO for you. Sometimes (laughs) Sometimes <laughs> where I'm like, okay, I'm imagining we're all at our villa or whatever. There's like a bunch of us staying at a house when we're in Positano. It's like, I can imagine you being like, yeah, I'm just going to go take a, take a half hour, an hour, just chill. Yeah. And like, we're all playing a game in the living room and it's every, all the couples and ev- yeah. every, and I'm just like, oh, I, I can pre feel myself being like, Oh, I don't want her to miss this. Like, this is a thing I feel like that all would never remember. happen. There's never been a time where, like, the whole group's together and I, like, leave. Only the night before a wedding, which is totally fair. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta be getting me right now. I said, which is totally fair. <laughs> I said, that's what I mean, though. Like, I've never, I would never, that's, like, not even a fear to have. I know. It's just, that. I do have that fear. Okay. Um, but you're, what is the fear, actually, though? That I'm gonna, that you're gonna miss out. And I'm gonna but be, But what like, is your fear? Because that's, I don't know that that makes sense. Like you have a fear that, that for me, but when I'm saying like for me, I'm knowing what's best if I'm like needing to take a minute, but your fear, your fear is like, are you sad that you didn't have your partner there for the experience? Like what is the actual fear? Yeah. Yeah. That makes sense. That you're not there. Okay. And I'm like, we're all this way. That's, that's like the feeling I would keep having. Like we're all here for this mm-hmm. that I'm like, I just get anxious that you're going to get burnt out and that you're going to need more alone time than I'm going to want you to have is like the, is like, to, like the honest truth where I'm like, I hope that she doesn't get so burnt out from all the travel beforehand that like, yeah, you're just going to be so tired Can that I- you're not going to want to like do stuff. And that's okay if that happens, but I'm like pre trying to like, yeah not be bummed by that may I put a little into perspective though just so you can be realistic going into this that mm-hmm. the two things you asked me is was focused on the beginning of a trip when it's just you and me saying yes to things even if we're tired going and doing stuff yes I see why that but conflicting. then you're scared that I might burn out on that aspect yeah. that I won't be present enough on the second aspect yes where I would like to share that I can't do it all so I there will that. you know what I mean yes so there will need to be some balance so then maybe like that's a good thing I'm glad that we talked about it where it's good that if in the beginning of the trip I'm like I know you really want to like it's our first night here you really want to stay up you want to go to this bar could we maybe go tomorrow because I am feeling like a little mm-hmm. run down mm-hmm. and I don't want to burn out day one of two weeks or something mm-hmm. so maybe like that that's good for us both to keep into perspective mm-hmm. where I will try to like use my energy bank wisely yeah and then you accepting more of like okay 
I know I already shared this with her. So she is being conscious of how she's using her energy. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to trust that she knows when it's time to say yes or no for Mm -hmm. herself. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Yeah. Okay. I love you. Love you too. I'm so excited. Anything you want to manifest for the trip? Any small things? Any big things? Any just general vibes? I want to manifest one like smooth sailing with all the travel 100% um for your behalf I want to have easy flights Same. I'm so excited for the flights I love I'm like I'm a freak in that way I love a long flight I'm a freak, I'm a freak. I'm a freak. I'm a I just, freaky bitch I don't know why I love a lot like it's just so peaceful to me yeah but I really hope especially with like the storms happening and everything I hope it's yeah. very smooth yeah no and then like we just have like some drives and trains and in between stuff, not a hundred percent hashed out. Then I just hope that it's like nice and easy. And I manifest that we just have great teamwork, which I just know we will. So I'm not like quite concerned about that. Mm-hmm. Um, I think with that stuff, like I think we have different strengths and all this stuff too, where it's totally. like really nice that we let the other lead whenever it's like right. And, yeah, I don't know. I just think it's going to be so nice. I think we planned a really well-balanced trip. I think so, too. I'm just so stoked. I think the whole thing's going to... And I think it's going to be a really good level of, like, excitement and relaxation. So I'm not actually nervous about any kind of burnout. Yeah. Like, I hope I'm not jet-lagged at all right when we get there because we just have, like, little amounts of time in each place. Like, I want to make sure we get we did it all book, out. like nicer seats for us on the flights because it's our honeymoon and so I really feel like we're gonna vibe out on the plane and I'm full girl mathing right now where I'm like these flights are free same we bought them so long ago so long ago that I'm like I can't believe we have free one-way tickets in nice seats yeah that's cool but Special. then I'm like oh we paid for them TT. <laughs> I'm yeah I, I'm also really proud of how we've budgeted this trip we have we budget. like it. We get weird sometimes. Of like, we will be really conservative with our spending in one way, and then be like so stupid. Yeah. And I think we we struck a good balance of like, yeah. No, it's our honeymoon. Let's splurge a little bit on this nicer hotel. But you know what? We don't need the nicest room in this hotel. We can get like kind of the worst room in this really nice hotel and enjoy yeah. the hotel and not really spend time in the yeah, room. Yeah, we we did good. I'm proud of us. I'm proud of us too. I'm really excited for the trip. Me too. Oh my gosh, we have a gossip story. I forgot. Hit it. May I read it? Yes. Anything else to share? Anything else you want to manifest with the trip? A personal goal for me is that I tend to have little health spooks on long trips. Oh, well, this is great for me to know. Um, Where like I'll over fixate on like, oh my God, I'm feeling this thing and like yeah. whatever. And then I'm like, I have taken myself to the doctor many a time overseas. Yeah. So my hope is that that does not happen. Like it's been so long since I've done that in general. So I just hope that that doesn't happen. But, um, I think just leading up to it, I need to be like really good about my sleep. I need Mm -hmm. to like, just, I don't know. I just need to like treat myself. Well, we need to make sure we're working out and walking a lot and just moving on our trip and Mm -hmm. stuff so that like, I don't think I'm having a problem, you know, it it won't be a problem. Yeah. Yeah. So anyway, that's my thought. Oh, I don't think you've given up yourself enough credit. You've been so good with your health anxiety. Thank you. Like you've been really impressive and I don't think you even like acknowledge that. Oh, I know it's gotten better. It's just that for whatever reason on trips. That makes sense. It makes it's tr- like the lack of focus on day to day things. Yeah. Gives room in my head for like my anxiety to like wake up a little bit. Yeah, and so, I think like you're just not in your space. You don't have your things. You don't have your uh, my doctor. doctors. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So, yeah, it won't be anything. But I'm definitely manifesting that it won't be anything. Like, yeah, it's gonna be your tenfold be great baby. And I hope that the babies are totally great without us, and they have the nicest time. <laughs> are you so snuggled? Yeah, it's gonna be perfect, babe. I'm so excited. Can you believe we're going? In like a week. No, I actually can't. We will be there right now, next week. That's insane. That's just so. Bro, we will be this time next week. Yeah. We will have been at like a nice dinner in Amsterdam. Wow. <gasps> Fun. This timing really worked out nicely. That so sick. I would have been so stressed if we weren't here during the storm. I would have been worried about like the dogs and the house and everything. Yeah. And then getting our periods over and getting to be like, I love the energy spike after a period 100 it's so good and we'll and we're get that, that during bear. our flight 
basically our energy spike will be Amsterdam. So we're going to be fucking flying. Like I should be starting my period tomorrow and I'm feeling my lowest of low right now. So I don't have like a couple days of pain. I should have started today. But the excitement's going to push. Yeah. I'm so excited. Okay. Hit me with your goss. You ready? Yes. Okay. And just a quick reminder, if y'all want to send in your gossip story, you can send it to sayinguppod at gmail.com. Tell us a story. Ask for advice. Whatever you want to share, you can email it. It doesn't just have to be gay stuff. It doesn't just have to be relationships. relationships. It can be family, friends, work, life, anything, etc. Pets. Riggy and Frank will answer. Tell us your pet gossip. (laughs) Go ahead. Okay. First off, I love you guys. I've been a longtime follower of Cam since the early YouTube and Tumblr days. Classic. And when Taryn came on the scene, chef's kiss. I have never been a podcast girly, but was recently on a long solo road trip and decided to give yours a listen. Love. And can I just say, I am now a podcast girly. Go pee pee. <laughs> I binged eight random episodes over my trip and I started from your first episode and have just caught up. I love Whoa. you. Oh, I love. Not I love you. Sorry, I added some... <laughs> I love you. <laughs> Dead equation. They just love. Um, let me see. I don't know this PP's name. Give them one. Um, let me see if they say. What about Paula? Paula. Okay, Paula. Paula the PP. Okay. Anyways, I love your advice. I would love your advice slash opinion. I'm a 27-year-old female, and when I was in late high school, one of my closest friends at the time, let's call her Molly, and I would be the friends who would always be next to each other, Okay, would always dance with each other at parties, and whenever everyone would play spin the bottle, Mm -hmm. which we went to an all-girls school, by the way, we'd always find a way to make out. Oh, my God. Even when, (laughs) Even when we had sleepovers, we'd always end up holding hands or cuddling during the night. Cute. At the time, I didn't know I liked girls for sure. I thought to myself, this is just a phase or I only feel this way with Molly. Mm -hmm. As if. I relate to this so heavy. I feel like this is like exactly what I felt when I was realizing I like girls. One morning after, I was feeling confident and I asked her, wait, did I miss something? No. Hey, so I think we held hands during the night. And (gasps) she went, um, no, we didn't. Okay, off, Molly. We totally did, but she was clearly deflecting. Aww. So I respected that and didn't bring it up again. A few months later, it was our end of high school slash final exams after party with the whole grade there. And we all got drunk and Molly and I, you guessed it, made out again. <laughs> Given her reaction to me bringing up our handholding situation, I kind of just let it go. I think subconsciously I was pre- I was protecting myself from being hurt and I didn't want to make her feel uncomfortable. Makes sense. Even though I was harboring a major crush on her. Mm. We each went to different unis and drifted apart, but still catch up every now and then. It's been 10 years since we (gasps) finished school. Fast forward a few weeks ago. Holy, there's a resurgence. (laughs) Fast forward a few weeks ago, we caught up again. I'm now out of the closet as a lesbo. Obsessed. And has been for about seven years. She's a has-been? And (laughs) have-been. I'm now out of the closet as a lesbo and (laughs) has-been. Okay, me. (laughs) Shut up. Um, <laughs> uh, I am now out of the closet as a lesbo and have been for about seven years. And she, as far as I know, is straight or hasn't come out publicly. We were talking about high school day. We were talking about high school days. And as the night went on, had a couple of drinks. Obsessed. She asked me, what is a secret you wish you told? And I so, so, so badly wanted to tell her I had a major crush on her. Wait, you got, that is her begging I know for this to come out. Honestly, I think I was a bit in love with her, but I just couldn't. It was like I reverted back to my 18-year-old closeted self. Now for the past few weeks, since that night we went for drinks, I'm constantly wondering if I told her how I felt all those years ago, would she have admitted would she have admitted she had also feel, had feelings for me back then too? Would she still have something there today if we went on a date? Or am I being DeLulu and living in the past? Should I tell her? I guess, if anything, I want closure. Did she like me back? What stopped her from talking to me about it back then? Ah, help. Love, your newest Aussie PP. P.S. We need Cousin Bobby and Lesbian DMer on the pod, please, LOL. Which concerns me because I think... Lesbian DMer? The one that just says lesbian to me every couple weeks. (laughs) 
But this concerns me that you think Cousin Bobby is real. Cousin Bobby's not real for everyone that's this curious. Is, I was like, we can't have cousin cousin. We make cousin Bobby up. Taryn is not in love with I cousin Bobby. I do not have a cousin. And if I did, I mean, I have a cousin. I do not have a cousin Bobby. And if I did, I most certainly would not want to have sexual relationships with them because I do not want to have sexual relations with any cousins. Let's clear that up. I can't believe I'm clearing that up. Thank you for sharing your prepared statement. <laughs> <laughs> but I read that and I was like, oh, I was like, I think we have to explain that the Cousin Bobby thing is a joke. That's wild. I know. But maybe maybe she was kidding, too. She's probably joking. Anyways. I, um, Taryn Arnold Scott, want the record to show I have only been attracted to a cousin three times. <laughs> and none of them were named Bobby. <laughs> Guys, I'm not attracted to my cousin. We gotta um, move on. Okay. This lore, so we this got, pee-pee lore has to move on. We got... But I would love to have the lesbian DMer <laughs> on the podcast, but they like, we have to like muffle their voice. I don't know why. And but they it has just to be say like lesbian. lesbian. Yeah. Anything we ask them, lesbian. Like lesbian. What did you call her? Paula? Paula. Is that her? Pa- Pee-pee? Paula Pee-pee. Paula, listen. And Molly. 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 <laughs> Paula and Molly. Paula and Molly. Well, you picked a tough name to do with Molly. Well, I um, didn't know Molly was coming down the line. What? What's your advice for Paula? My advice is... Let bygones be bygones unless do we like Molly as a person now? Like, is Molly a vibe? Would we want to date Molly? Would we want to go on a date with Molly? Like, yeah, it's been 10 years. It's been 10 years. Do we still like Molly? Because I'm like, there's people that I can think of like that from high school or college or whatever. When I'm like, is there something going on? And I'm like, if I missed the op. Mm hmm. Which I think you had an opening. Okay. I think you had an opening in that conversation and could have gone either way. Coin flip if you took it or not. And you didn't. And that's fine. But I do think that was your clear opportunity to get that information out that like you did have a crush on her. I don't think it would have been weird. I don't think. I Mm -hmm. think she opened the door for like a secret moment. So it would have made sense to be like, oh, yeah, like I definitely had a crush on you in high school. Like that was, you know, that's probably my secret. (laughs) Ha ha. What's yours? Mm -hmm done but now that we're thinking of circling back there's i think you can only circle back if this is like something that you want to be a yeah yeah, that you care to be something in the future it doesn't even need to be something big but like if you were down to be like i actually i have an answer to the queue sorry i didn't answer when we were together but Mm. i had a crush on you in high school and if you'd be down to get drinks again i would love to something small like that that is what i would do if if she's a vibe as an adult yeah now yeah are we just kind of hung up on 10 years ago if not move on let this be a little rom-com in your head yeah and just let the let that little thing die between the two of you yeah what are your thoughts i just don't think that you should have to do all the work yeah molly is giving me well she's in the closet she's scared molly yeah, and molly isn't that's not your job yeah to get her out of that totally even if and unless you want this closure so badly that you're like, I want to say this so that she can say like, I think I kind of liked you too. And then you can be like, cool. Now I know. Listen, there was something. Random straight girls yeah. who don't like a person are not like multiple cuddling times. and holding hands. Multiple times on separate occasions. Yeah. My first girlfriend and I, when we had our first kiss, freaked out. And then did it again and then freaked Mm -hmm. out again and then did it again. Like, yeah, same. that's super normal. And I just don't think it's on you to like do all the heavy lifting here of Mm -hmm. like you tried to call it out back in high school. Mm -hmm. She knows you're out. She like there's no doubt that she could share that with you and it wouldn't be weird. You like women. It's not a big deal. Yeah. That I'm kind of like irritated for you that you have to do all that work. Like. It kind of sounds like she asked the question prompting you. That's exact. Wait, if I wasn't clear enough during my portion, that is exactly what I think she did. Uh-huh. No, no, you were clear. Oh, okay. But I'm saying, but you're saying like ask her or whatever. And I don't, I don't disagree, but I'm also like kind of over it for yeah. you. But what if she likes her still? Well, I again. don't think she does. I don't think that they're going to be a thing. I don't think Molly's in a place to be in a relationship yet. I think like that was a fun moment to leave in high school. Yeah. Unless you do really like her, then I think 
maybe she needs somebody to step up and kind of lead her through this and help her through this and show her that she can do it and be okay. Yeah. Um, but I'm kind of just like, I would have loved if Molly would have asked you that question and then answered it herself and said yeah. like, I lied. I knew we held hands and I loved it. And I had a huge crush on you. Like hundred percent. I just, I almost feel like the more you press at this, the more potential hurt you might have. Yeah. She might deny it again, which I wasn't there. I'm not Molly, but I really deeply feel that it, she did have feelings there, <laughs> whatever it may have been. You have your closure. You know what it was. Yeah. You don't need to, I, I, you don't have to get closure from other people. Totally. And I think we all like latch on to this idea of closure of like, you have to have to talk with this person. They have to apologize to you or explain themselves. Yeah. You, the best closure you get moving on yourself totally. and accepting yourself. Um, but Hey, maybe you run into Molly again and you just say, remember when you tried to pretend like we didn't hold hands? Like fucking call that bitch out. Oh my God, Cammy, That is crazy <laughs> behavior. They're adults now. It's funny. It's like, yeah, but that's like clearly a sensitive thing for her. And still, we, they I held hands. I mean, she knows they made out. They would make out during like spin the bottle. They weren't like wasted and unaware of what was happening. But like, like but to be like, rem- remember when you pretended we didn't hold yeah. hands? Like she could be in the closet. She could have really extreme like. But it's just them two. She's not. It was always just them the two. The internet. And she never liked it. She I never know. said it. You know, I just think she's a little Molly needs a little push. Only, this is what Cammie and I certainly agree upon, only if you want, only yeah. if you like this version of who Molly is yeah. now. If not, is so not worth circling back. It's almost fun having like Same. this nostalgic memory of like this girl where you like held hands and then you're like, what was that? that and was it's silly. honestly cool to just be like, okay, you're, oh my God, I just got an <gasps> earthquake detected. Drop, mm-hmm. cover, hold on, protect yourself. Okay. okay, well, we gotta go. Love pod. you guys. Bye.